Hello again, it's um, Joey John McGuire. Uh, I'm in my uh, favourite watering hole, uh, Weatherspoons Pub. It's the Witherstown Inn, and that's in um, Wimbledon, South London. Uh, I'd like to uh, recite my latest offering. It's called Journeys to Fulfilment. I constantly find myself explaining to people why I don't do God, which isn't strictly true. It's just that it's so time-consuming and frustrating conversing with the ignorant, trying to teach what should come naturally, common sense. I do have a God, not mine to possess, a God that is within, not always on show, but always available for timeshare, by way of my actions. My God wears no fancy clothes, does not sit on a pedestal. It is not visible through the eyes of narrow minds, and has not been corrupted by those seeking to control. And there is no great hall for the masses to gather in their search for direction. He is not found at the root of politics. Wars are not created in his name. He holds no seat of power and never judges. He is found ever present, always there to answer me, ongoing throughout my life since my time began on every single day. I tire of witnessing the atrocities that man inflicts on mankind. My God, as I, fails to understand why, when life is so harsh and just about surviving, man wishes to kill and maim his earthly brothers and sisters, men, women, and children, mostly innocent victims, all targets of bitter hatred and greed. I find myself dismayed as politicians posture with strutting futile gestures as I listen to the preachers preach drivel on drivel, both using any language to gain control. But time has proven them all to be wrong, and I witness the denial from those who wish to take control and those wishing to be led. Man does not understand eternity. It is beyond his visual perceptions. But he knows it exists. He has travelled in space and knows it is infinite. He has looked back at his world, seen it all, it in all its beauty and vulnerability, yet still he seeks to destroy. He has seen time prove Darwin right, witnessed the unravelling of DNA, the creation of life, and yet still he seeks to destroy. I find myself at odds, praying for a light bulb moment when my fellow travellers finally realise that their chances would prove better without the false hope, hopes derived from holy books and their false gods and idols of old. Behold, there is a way forward without the shackled ignorance of the past. Man has many failings, his greatest being his inability to share. Greed, like water, will fill any crevice, but cannot climb hills. And that is why we must all continue climbing. To each of us our Everest, to each our God within, always willing to be shared on our journeys to fulfillment.